IRIS is the new VAO tool for the creation and the analysis of spectral energy distributions of astronomical sources. In this demo, I will show you how to visualize and analyze the SED of a source in IRIS. As an example, I will consider the SED of the Quasar 3C273, previously built with the SED import using different data. Our 3C273 SED contains Fermi data in the gamma ray energy range fake ALMA data in the submillimeter millimeter spectral range, and all multi-wavelength photometric data available in the literature retrieved using the net SED service. The default visualization of any SED in IRIS is a flux density visualization, with the spectral coordinate measured in wavelength, angstrom, and the flux density expressed in units of ergs per second per centimeter square per angstrom. You can interactively select regions of interest of the SED and inspect them carefully by drawing boxes on the plot. Then you can go back to the regional visualization just clicking on the reset view icon on top of the window. Data point symbols are colored according to the origin of the data points. For example, Black symbols are associated to data points taken from the literature and belonging to the segment retrieved from the NED SED service, with error estimates available. Magenta symbols are associated to data points from the literature with no error values available. All data points from other segments are colored in red. We can change the units used to plot the SED very easily. We can click on Units, and a window with two columns containing respectively all available options for spectral coordinates, units, and flux measurements will pop up. We can pick, in this case, kilo electron volt and ergs per centimeter square per second per hertz, and just click on Apply to see how the SED plot changes accordingly. Very often, user can be interested in metadata associated to a given data point, especially the one taken from the literature. What we have to do is just right-click on the point and a window containing all the metadata and browsable will pop up. It is also possible to change the visualization of the ICD in Iris. For example, we can switch from flux densities to fluxes. In particular, we could be interested in visualizing the ICD in terms of new F nu, the product of flux density at the given frequency and the frequency itself. We can switch to this visualization of the SED by selecting flux in the quantity drop down menu. Now we are prompted to pick the units and we can choose, for example, Hertz and Jansky Hertz and then click again on apply. Now we want to fit the SED with some model. We can access all fitting capabilities offered by Iris by clicking on the Fit button in the main window. In the SED plotting window, a red curve has appeared, associated to a simple power law with default parameter values, automatically plotted over the measured SED. In the lower part of the window, a plot of the ratio between measured data and the model values appeared as well, as a way to visualize the residual fit. The main fit window contains a list of the models used for the fit, a model expression field where multiple simple models can be combined to define the composite model, and few buttons associated to features of the fit. If we want to fit the simple power law model to our data, we can simply click on the fit button in the main fitting window. A new window pops up where we can select an optimization method between three options offered and a statistic. In this case, we'll sh we shall use the default values of these two parameters, namely Neldermid and least square for least square, for optimization statistics respectively. Then we can start the fit just clicking on start. The red curve associated to the best fitting values of the model parameters has been drawn on the main iris window and the residuals plot has been updated accordingly. The result of the fit is very sensitive to the choice of the statistic. For example, while the default statistic least square waves equally all data points, the second option available in the drop-down menu, chi2 data var, namely the chi squared with data variance, waves data points according to the inverse of the uncertainty, so that points with large error bars can only slightly influence the result of the fit. And for data points without error bars, it tries to evaluate an error estimate based on the variance of data points themselves. In the case of our 3C273 SED, we can try and change the statistic to chi-square data var 
click again on start and see how the red covers change now we can see how we can change the model used for the fit first of all I close the fitting window then I select the model that I want to delete and I can click on delete now I can click on add to pick a new model a new window with all available models opens this list contains simple mathematical models power law, parabola, empirical models that are used in astronomy broken power law, log parabola, etc. and models derived from physics the black body, absorptions model, Bremsstrahlung, etc. we can pick the broken power law model in this case we can click again on fit leaving the same optimization and statistic methods and see how the model fit okay the red has changed another interesting feature of fitting in iris is the ability to evaluate confidence interval for the model parameters of the fit we can do that just clicking on the confidence tab in this window leaving unchanged in this case the number of input sigmas and clicking on start the upper and lower fields have been populated with the values of the upper and lower limits on the parameter values in few seconds now we can close this window Iris can also perform fit in spectral ranges that the user can interactively define from the main ICD plot. We can click on the Define Range button in the main fitting window. Then we can go to the plot of the ICD and select a first point representing one of the end point of the spectral range where we want the fit to occur. And then we can click on the other point representing the other extreme of the spectral interval where we want the fit to occur the spectral range where will the fit will occur is now highlighted by a blue segment now we can just go to the main fitting window click on fit and click on start as you can see the shape has changed Fitting the SED with composite models obtained through any algebraically recombination of single models is very easy in IRIS. First of all, let me unselect the spectral range fitting, just clicking on reset ranges. Then what I can do is delete the broken power loaf model that I used for the last fit by selecting it in the component list and clicking on delete. And then I can add new models. I can click on add and I can select a log parabola and then again I can click on add and I can select a broken another broken power law on the left of each component there is a number that so that the first component log parabola is identified with C1 label and the second the broken power law is C2 and so on these labels can be used to combine the components in this case we want to fit the model obtained by summing the log parabola and the broken power law so we can just edit the model expression field with C1 plus C2 now we are ready to fit the composite model we can click on fit again we can change the statistic back to least square leaving Nelder mid as optimization method and we can click on start as you can see the fit has Significant, significantly improved over the last fit. Now, I want to show you how we can save the result of a fit. Let's say that I'm satisfied with the results. I can save all the fundamental information about the last fit I have performed in a human readable format to a file for further analysis or just to put the right numbers in my paper. I can do, do, I can do that quite easily. I can select the main fitting window and then I can go to File write to next file and write active components now I can select the position on my computer where to save the file desktop I will call it fit and I will just click on save here's the file 
double-clicking on it, we release its content.